What's good YouTube, it's your boy Chico Filo here man, back with another video and as you guys can see, I am going to break down the 2K21 Park trailer for you guys and show you guys what things you may have missed. Honestly, so far guys, from what we've seen, I think this trailer is such a big W and that is also very important to note down, this is the current gen trailer as well. If you guys don't know, the next generation of 2K21 will be made by a different studio, so maybe we'll get a completely different game and maybe you'll have a completely different park or maybe they'll keep the same park and just improve the gameplay. But in saying that, I'm very, very happy because I know that there's only two months that we're going to play current gen for until next gen comes out and we are definitely going to last two months playing in this new neighborhood but anyway I want to get straight into this video guys so make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and let's get straight on with it by the way guys if you guys still haven't seen the NBA 2k21 trailer it is on Twitter on the official NBA 2k21 page so make sure you guys check it out if you haven't seen it yet because in this video I'm not really gonna watch the trailer with you guys I'm literally just gonna skip to each single bit that I think you guys may have missed okay so the first thing that you guys may have missed is within this new thing right here called Jeff's 2k arcade I'm gonna play the video for you guys and I'm gonna pause right here as you guys can see they have the popper shot and they also have the elite spin as you guys can see there's only one wheel right there but obviously this is only one angle there's probably going to be a lot more spins in there but one detail that you guys probably did not pay attention to is there's no bonus anywhere in that elite spin obviously as you guys know in 2k20 there was a bonus spin that could give you either 500,000 VC, it could give you unlimited Gatorade, it could give you unlimited boost, and it could have also given you a suit or a BMX bike. You guys know the drill. But yeah, if you guys look very closely, there is not one strip there that looks like the bonus if it's going to be similar to last year. So um, yeah, that's the first thing. But other than that, I think this whole idea of the whole arcade is a big W anyway, so I'm still happy. Moving on to the next thing, as you guys can see, the Pro-Am Arena is going to be on the rooftop. So I'm guessing this is going to be the 3v3 Pro-Am matchmaking. This is actually a new feature that they added in 2K20, and I'm so glad that they put it back in 2K21 because this is such a great addition. And to me, guys, this is such a big W. You have a nice view there in the background the whole environment looks a lot more lively in comparison to 2k20 where the program arena was actually just closed and it wasn't really anything exciting moving on i'm going to show you guys the events that are basically confirmed for 2k21 starting with basketball gods as you guys can see right here um it looks like this tent right here is where all the events are going to be held so i'm guessing it's not really going to change the whole environment of the park and instead all of the events are just going to be pushed to one side um if i go back Earlier into this video, you guys will actually see a better view of that tent. Court Conqueror will also be making a return, but this looks like um, the event tent. It kind of looks like the same tent from uh, the Rush 1v1 event. But yeah, like I said, I don't think the events will change what the uh, the main park will look like anymore. Similar to how it did in 2K20, because obviously every time there was an event, it will change the whole neighborhood as well. But yeah, it looks like this year, all the events are going to be situated towards the end of the neighborhood or the end of the uh, beach, the 2K beach, as you would like to call it. Is going to be situated in this tent right here. Moving on to the next event that is confirmed for 2K21. You guys might be wondering why I have chosen this photo. But if you guys look over here to the back, you guys can clearly see that this man here, dressed in gold, has Gold Rush clothing on. So this definitely means that Gold Rush will also be making a return to 2K21. And since we're talking about Gold Rush, which is obviously going to be held in Anti-Up, the new Anti-Up also has... A new look as you guys can see the courts look very different this is actually the only shot of the anti-up that we see but from this one photo it immediately looks different from the anti-up that we had in 2k20 and 2k19 so this is also a big w other things that you guys may have missed is obviously the Jaderade training facility is back doc's barbershop is back as well with a brand new look and wheels over there in the back as well speaking of wheels if you guys watch this guy in the red hoverboards are clearly going to make a return again. Same as the low rider bike here, as you guys can see. And of course, we've also got the BMX bike here as well. However, the biggest thing that is being talked about right now is where are the twos courts? Immediately from what we can see right here, all these courts look like threes courts. There are no twos courts to be found unless it's going to be similar to 2K18 where the courts were actually shared. However, I do have some really, really good news for you guys, man. It is time to end this debate whether or not there's going to be a twos call because ronnie 2k just tweeted out saying let's stop the silliness twos is still very much a big park option carry on thank you thank you so much ronnie man honestly everybody was worried everything on twitter like i said guys was just everybody complaining looking for this twos call because there was nowhere to be found but this tweet from ronnie has honestly just saved us from all this anxiety about not having a twos call but yeah this is our answer i mean imagine <laughs> Imagine if this was the equivalent to how Ronnie 2K said last year. He claimed from uh, from the trailer that we saw last year of 2K20 
that that wasn't the neighborhood and that you can think what you like but that's not the neighborhood and it ended up being the neighborhood so i don't know i hope that ronnie 2k isn't capping this time now for real though guys all jokes aside nba 2k21 actually replied to tasiana's tweet where he says this is dope and i really appreciate a new environment but did y'all hide the 2v2 call or something surely someone can confirm there is a two call and thankfully the official nba 2k21 page did reply with this photo right here which confirms that the twos will be in the park in nba 2k21 it kind of looks like they just ripped it out of the 2k20 neighborhood and just whacked it on the beach how come all the threes courts get to have like a different color in each court but the twos court is exactly the same as last year but i'm not complaining it is what it is um it's on the park so um on the bright side we're still gonna be playing twos in the park w moving on though a few other things um as you guys can see the 2k shoe store is back rick is back as well but um one detail that i've actually showed repeatedly in this trailer is this ferris wheel right here i'm not really sure if you could go on the ferris wheel maybe it's just purely cosmetic but i think it would be dope if you could actually go on the ferris wheel just so you can make the environment a lot more interactive but to be honest with you guys whether or not you can go on this thing or not this is still a big W and such a big addition to the park. And it just adds to the whole colorful vibe of the park. This right here is probably my favorite addition to the park, man. Obviously, uh, 2K21, the Legend Edition this year, is dedicated to Kobe Bryant. This is honestly such a big W because every time we load into the park, we're going to see this. And it's going to remind us who this whole game is dedicated to. It's going to remind us of Kobe, who we all adore and love. Big shout out to 2K for this, man. Honestly, we all miss you, Kobe. Another thing, guys, the VC ATM is no longer located in the stage. As you guys know, in 2K20, the VC ATM was located inside the stage, and you actually had to be in the stage to use the VC ATM. And it looks like this year they have actually taken it out from the stage and now have placed it on the 2K Beach Boardwalk. Oh, and one final thing that I'm sure you guys probably missed. You guys were probably wondering, where are the cages? I mean, not that anybody plays the cages anyway, but the cages... We'll be making a return if you guys look over here. It clearly says cages right here. And um, yeah, the cages are going to make a return if you guys play cages. But anyway, guys, that is it for this video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed that little breakdown of the NBA 2K21 Park trailer. Honestly, I am so excited. I am very, very happy with this whole trailer, man. All I wanted was a new park for two months to play on until the next gen. So honestly, I'm happy. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you guys satisfied? Are you guys disappointed? And what we have seen so far. Oh, and tell me in the comment section below as well if you guys think I missed anything out. But I think I kind of covered everything quite well. But um, yeah, that is it for this video. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you guys want to see more of my content. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.